Hello, hello, everyone. This is Man United inside again on it. Welcome back. Is this the man to fix Eric Ten Hag's defense? Man United are in advance talks to sign Pan 26M rated Radu Draguzin, with the Romanian pursued by Arsenal dubbed the new Nemanja Vidic, Manchester United are ready to rival Arsenal in a bid to land the new Nemanja Vidic, according to a report in Romania. United's defense has been a serious concern this season, with Wednesday's 3-3 draw with Galatasaray the latest inquest into Eric Ten Hag's backline. As a result there is an appetite to strengthen the defense as early as January and Romanian outfit ProSport claim Man United are in advance talks for Radu Draguzin. The 21-year-old Genoa defender has a £26 million release clause and is high on the radar of a host of English teams. Draguzin's agent, Florin Manea, has spoken openly previously about getting his client a move to England. He said, I have been in London for some time and have almost weekly meetings with important teams. We are getting closer. I spoke with Newcastle, with Arsenal, with Tottenham. I also have messages with them, conversations. There are teams that ask about Draguzin. But it is now being claimed that it is United that are in pole position to land him. Draguzin came through at Juventus but has since gone on to thrive at Genoa. Genoa had Draguzin on loan last season before they were able to snap him up on a permanent deal for just £5 million, meaning they are in line for a sizable profit. The defender is under contract until 2027 but crucially had an attainable release clause put into his contract in a bid to secure a move to England. United's defense is of grave concern right now and Rio Ferdinand believes immaturity and boredom played a key role in United's defensive collapse during their 3-3 draw with Galatasaray. Ten Hag's men twice led by two goals in the Champions League clash in Istanbul, but failed to hold on and their chances of making the knockout stages are now hanging by a thread. Ferdinand liked what he saw from United from an attacking perspective, but was concerned about the side defensively, and has called for the team to become more comfortable with sitting back and soaking up pressure in games. In the first half I was asking them to be uncomfortable and enjoy sometimes being penned back on the edge of your box, bank of four and a bank of five and not allowing a big gap between the midfield and the defenders. They were doing that, Ferdinand said on TNT Sports, but it's about doing that consistently, doing that rep after rep after rep. And that's where I think sometimes there's maybe a little bit of immaturity, maybe boredom creeps in and one jumps out and then they go, oh, we're out of shape, and they look very open at those times. Eric Ten Hag wowed by son of Man United legend, wants to fast-track him into the first team, Eric Ten Hag has fast-tracked the 16-year-old son of a Man United legend into first team training at Carrington. Ten Hag has had no issues with putting faith in his younger players, even when United have endured difficult periods. Alejandro Garnacho is one of the most notable names Ten Hag has integrated into the first team, with the Argentine playing a key part in the club's third-placed finish last season. The 19-year-old has gone from strength to strength in the 23-24 season, most recently scoring against Galatasaray, but more notably the youngster scored a sensational bicycle kick against Everton. United also gave a full Premier League debut to 18-year-old Kabi Menu at Goodison Park. Maynou looked like he'd been playing at the top level for decades, and also impressed with a second-half cameo in Istanbul as United drew 3-3. With such impressive performances from Manchester United's new generation, it's not a surprise Ten Hag is looking at more academy products. The most recent teenager to get the nod from the gaffer is the 16-year-old son of former United player Darren Fletcher, who was called up for first-team training ahead of their Champions League fixture. Despite training with the side, Jack Fletcher wasn't part of the traveling party for the match. Fletcher has been on the radar of the United boss for some time now according to reports. Ten Hag has been watching Jack closely for several months now and has been really impressed, a source said. They continued, Ten Hag is now working with his staff to put a plan in place to try and develop and fast-track Jack's progress. He thinks he has huge potential which is why he decided to promote him to train with the first team last week. It is believed that a potential loan might be the best option for the teenager, as United looks to find the best possible solution for Fletcher to get valuable first-team minutes. 
Sir Jim Ratcliffe identifies key transfer priorities ahead of Man United bid confirmation, Sir Jim Ratcliffe is said to be underwhelmed by Manchester United's recent work in the transfer market and is planning big changes at Old Trafford, Sir Jim Ratcliffe will reportedly order Manchester United's recruitment team to focus on homegrown talent once his partial takeover of the club is approved. The INOS chief remains on the verge of buying 25% of the Old Trafford club for £1.3 billion. Ratcliffe will take over football operations and is already planning to make big changes, including overhauling transfer strategy. According to the Daily Mail, Ratcliffe wants to see more domestic talent come through the ranks and represent the first team, similar to the legendary Class of 92 which included the likes of David Beckham, Ryan Giggs, and the Neville brothers. Since then, United have lavished huge sums on foreign talent, with successes as well as expensive mistakes in the transfer market. United's recruitment over the last decade, since the departure of Sir Alex Ferguson, has been extremely questionable. In light of that, Ratcliffe wants to see a new domestic-focused approach with more British players in the side. However, that could be easier said than done, with fees for British players widely regarded to be inflated compared to players of similar ability from abroad. Changes are already taking place behind the scenes with chief executive Richard Arnold set to leave the club. Patrick Stewart will take on the role on an interim basis less than two years after Arnold was picked to replace Ed Woodward back in February of 2022. That change is set to happen by the end of the year. Football director John Murto, who has been responsible for United's work in the transfer market, is also set to leave the club, as reported by Daily Star Sport earlier this month. Murto became United's first ever football director when he was promoted to the role from his previous position as the club's head of football development. He was tasked with overseeing operations and strategy across all football functions at the club. Manchester United make first contact for 16-goal striker ahead of January, very affordable release clause, as VFB Stuttgart star Sero Garassi continues to draw big attention from European clubs, Manchester United are named as a potential destination for him today. The story comes from Foot Mercado, and talks about the excitement around the 27-year-old following his great start with the Bundesliga side. The outlet writes that four clubs have come forward for information for Garassi. Manchester United are one of them, along with AS Roma, AC Milan and Newcastle United. It's said all of those clubs are looking for solutions for their attacks, and with the striker having 16 goals for Stuttgart this season, he turns into a clear target. What makes Garassi such an attractive option is that he may be a very affordable signing, as his release clause is worth just 17 million euros. That can be triggered in the January transfer window. The player himself does not close the door to such an early departure from Stuttgart and remains attentive to the offers he's about to get. With such a low price, it's hard to imagine Manchester United and others making any kind of offer that wouldn't trigger that low clause.